YouTube, I am excited to be announcing a new series for the channel. It's going to be called Aim Academy, where we're going to be going on tips, settings, every single video, and we're going to be explaining really big things to help you improve your aim, obviously get better aim, and you know, if you struggle to aim, I mean, anything aim related, if you want to shoot straighter like this, then you do not want to miss a video. You do not want to miss anything. You want to watch every single tip. So you guys can understand from a pro player, I'm um, the best advice I can give you guys to get better. So we're going to be starting with episode one today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Subscribe for more and don't forget to leave a like as always. Okay, guys. So we're going to be talking about in episode one, we're going to be going back to the basics. We're going to be talking about centering. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit about centering in this private match. And then we're going to go to a public match and demonstrate it a little bit while I'm shooting against other people. So basically what centering is, if you don't know, quick description. Centering is basically when you center your crosshairs and your screen. Now, usually when you're centering on the map, you want to center in the middle, obviously, because that's usually where the character model will be. But to top it off, you always want to center where you think and you're anticipating people to be. So, for example, if I'm running in this plane, I'm, co I'm continuously centering. And as soon as I think I'm going to, there's a guy like in the A alley. As soon as I think there's a guy in the alley, I'm going to start centering down and I'm going to be centered here. So I'm constantly you're just centering where they're potentially going to be. Then I'm a center left. And you obviously, you, you have to be really good at your centering because the better your centering, the more precise your shot will be once you, because I mean, as soon as you snap, if they're already on it. So for example, if I think a guy's going to be in the plane and I center like this and I challenge, if he is anywhere in this area, I'm already centered. So basically I'm going to be able to kill this guy very easily just because I'm centered already. So centering does take practice and until it becomes kind of muscle memory, until you start maneuvering on the map, kind of centering everywhere, basically where you think people are going to be. Um, it takes a little bit of practice. Also, big thing about centering is like centering as you go up, as you go down, where people are going to be. So uh, obviously I'm centered in the middle. As soon as I go up the stairs, I start centering up and you just constantly want to be centered. You want to go through the flow of the map. Obviously, like there's second floors, there's ramps, there's staircases, like there's a, there's a couple of factors that involve centering, so you always want to have your centering on point. And like I said, the reason why centering is so freaking good, and obviously it can be very beneficial, is because as soon as, as soon as you're already centered on someone, all you have to do is aim in, right? And then just shoot. So this is what, this can make a huge difference in a gunfight. And let's say, all right, let's say you're centering, right? And you're trying to sprint out. As soon as I sprint out, I'm already aiming at them essentially like I, all I have to do is just snap and just shoot and that's why centering is so good some that can make the difference between like gunfights like the millisecond or a couple milliseconds you have to adjust your your aim and your shot so for example let's say this guy's here I mean I just killed him but let's say he's he's alive and he's here instead of centering on like centering like this I center like this now I have to move my cross crosshairs and my aim to the right and by the time I'm moving my crosshairs, by the time I'm moving to the right, he's probably going to kill me or almost kill me, and I'm going to lose the gunfight. That's why centering is so huge. Okay, guys, so now oh. we have some crossroads. Team, yeah, team deathmatch. And I guess sniped. But seriously, now we can continue with the tip video. We can continue going in depth for you guys and talk more about this aim tip and this new series I'm doing. And basically, we're going to continue talking about centering. Now, centering is basically used at the highest level all the time. And it is basically perfected by pros. I want to say perfected because even pros tend to mess it up a little bit sometimes because it requires a lot of effort and for you to be on top of your game and be on top of it, period. But basically, when you're maneuvering around the map, you always want to be centering basically where people are going to be. And sometimes this requires, it could be a small movement. It doesn't mean you have to be snapping everywhere. It could be simple as like, I'm slowly centering. So now I'm going to center up and now I'm going to center in the middle. And you can see like, I'm not, I'm not doing anything crazy because what's, what's important when it comes to centering is controlling the centering It's controlling basically your aim, controlling the map. Beam that guy. So I'm going to move mid map. I'm going to center, snap on that guy, snap on that guy. And the reason centering is so good, I mean, I've said this before, but I'll say it again. When you are centered on people, you're basically already aiming at them. And that is an advantage because you are aiming at them. You're ready to engage. You're ready to shoot. And that's why it can make the difference between winning some gunfights. So you can see when I'm sprinting around the map, I'm continuously centering. Is there another guy there? There is. 
send her here on the door and I'm gonna send her out and snap on that guy and it's easy as one two three so you definitely have to be on top of this when you're maneuvering around the map you always want to be centering where you think people are gonna be where's the next spot they're gonna be and you always gotta have like centering is really important when it comes to winning gunfights and having your aim on point oh yeah shoot my body because you're so you can see over here I'm centering Centering, centering, centering. Oh, I'm getting shot on the back. I'm gonna center back up. You control, you control the field. You control the playing field. You go back down, you, you look up, center a little bit up, go back. And it's not always about centering like in the middle. If you are anticipating an opponent, if you think someone's about to be in front of you, then obviously you get ready to center in that location. For example, if I'm coming off the spawn right here and I think there's a guy at the truck, I'm gonna center at the truck heady here. I'm gonna center the truck heady here. It's constantly, it's not only about centering, like when you're moving around the map, if you have information that, hey, there might be a guy up here. Okay, I'm gonna center like this. I'm centering up here. Bang. Center. And this is tip number one for you guys. Practice this. If you have trouble centering, if you think your centering kind of sucks, which I'm, I'm gonna be honest, unless you're like playing at the high level, I think, I think for the average person, casual players, um, centering can be a little bit, um, I want to say bad, but definitely you could, I could use some work and you will notice the difference just like that. One, two, three, baby. Okay. So once you're in this custom game, it's obviously better to do this on a smaller map. That's why I chose a map like Garrison. I want you to practice centering and snapping. So basically what you can do is get in a custom lobby and just basically like control the centering. You can see obviously in the radar. Oops a little bit you can see the radar like where they're coming from and you can kind of like anticipate them and kind of center for it and then just snap on them and you just want to practice this see how i'm like centered right on them gonna see a guy here and as soon as you think they're up you look up if you think they're down you look down centering look as you see as you see i'm coming around the corner i'm always centered on them you can see and if you notice what's important when it comes to centering is to controlling it you don't have to be fast. And this is why like people wonder why don't pros play on their high sense? Why are pros play on such low senses? Like why not play on like, you know, a sense where you can turn around really quickly. The problem is with playing on a higher sense, your centering seems, uh, gets a little bit affected. It's just, it's the way it is because when you're trying to make these small adjustments, when it comes to centering and being like on point when you're centering, you know, it's, it's quicker. So you can like miss, you know, it's, it's harder to center sometimes. It's hard to be, it's not harder. It's hard to be precise with your centering. Obviously the slower your sense, the easier it is to like kind of have a slow, slow flow. So you can just move slowly and it won't like move too much. So you can just do this, go into the custom lobby, center, I think center, bang, look up, bang, and just do this. And you, if you think your centering is pretty bad, you can practice this like this every day. You don't have to do this long. You can do this for like 10 minutes and it's going to help you. And then you can play whatever you want to play pubs, scrims whatever you're playing and just like think about it like when you're playing the game you ha it has to become second nature though you don't want to like overthink centering too much because it's just, just kind of like getting used to it at first but obviously centering you can see you can see like i knew he was in the l obviously the l was elevated the elbow is a window you have to go from mid center get the center higher and you can see my centering automatically when i know a guy's there instead of me just sitting here i look i, I start to look up i do this and you can see my centering is right there. And that's why centering is key because I explained it earlier and I explained one last time before I end this video. If I have to make that adjustment, if that guy's looking at me, there's a high probability that I will die. So if I go around the corner and I center like this and this guy's up here and now I have to do this and look up to shoot him, that one half a second that it took me to do that, he probably has a couple bullets into me already if he's looking in this area. So to make the gunfight like a higher probability for me to win, I have to be centered on him already. So that way, all I have to do is I'll sprint, snap and shoot. And that's why centering is very key. Like you see gunfights where pros win. It's like, what the heck it was kind of like a joke gunfight or it was like, like, how did he win that? Like sometimes or like half of the time, it's just his centering was on point and he was able to like precisely snap, snap on the guy when, you know, maybe he camera him, snap, slash center on him and yeah, no business winning that but that's why centering is really really important so i hope you guys like this little first episode this first little tip 
um we're gonna keep going with some more great tips as we go on so don't forget to subscribe to the channel leave a like if you enjoyed it i hope you all have a wonderful day wonderful night wherever you are and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace